A suspected militant was killed in a gunfight with government forces in Srinagar in Indian-administered Kashmir, officials said Saturday. Police and paramilitary soldiers exchanged fire with at least one militant after troops cordoned off a neighborhood on a tip that he was hiding in a house in the region's main city of Srinagar. Residents said the troops torched the home where the rebel was trapped, a common tactic employed by Indian troops in the Himalayan region. There was no independent confirmation of the incident. In a separate incident, soldiers intercepted a group of militants in a forested area in southern Anantnag district on Saturday, leading to a gun battle that killed two rebels. India and Pakistan each administer a part of Kashmir, but both claim the territory in its entirety. The nuclear-armed rivals have fought two of their three wars over the territory since they gained independence from British colonial rule in 1947. Militants in the Indian portion of Kashmir have been fighting New Delhi's rule since 1989. Many Muslim Kashmiris support the rebels' goal of uniting the territory, either under Pakistani rule or as an independent country. India insists the Kashmir militancy is Pakistan-sponsored terrorism. Pakistan denies the charge, and many Kashmiris consider it a legitimate freedom struggle. Tens of thousands of civilians, rebels and government forces have been killed in the conflict. Residents on Friday assessed the damage caused to their town after flooding devastated Spain's Valencia region. Two days after the deluge started on Tuesday, authorities say they have recovered 158 bodies and continue to search for an unknown number of missing people. The damage recalled the aftermath of a tsunami, with survivors left to pick up the pieces as they mourn their loved ones. In the badly hit town of Chiva, where it rained more in eight hours than it had in the preceding 20 months, local resident, Juan Vicente Perez, wept as he pointed out the remains of his partially collapsed house. I have been there all my life, all my memories are there, my parents live there, they all live there, and now in one night it is all gone, he said. He said he and his wife fled to a neighbor's house just minutes before his own home was hit by the floods. He said there was no warning from the authorities but believed that everyone was taken by surprise by the ferocity of the flash floods that swept away everything in their path. Another local resident said people were starting to do what they could to clean up the town. While authorities were giving out food, water and clothes, there was still no water, gas or electricity, the local said. This week's flash floods are also Spain's deadliest natural tragedy in living memory, surpassing the flood that swept away a campsite along the Gallego River in Baescas, in the northwest, killing 87 people in August 1996.
mi casa. Espera, un segundo. Toda la vida viviendo. Esa. ¿La que se acaba de destruir o la de al lado? Esa, la, 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 la que tiene el agujero. La sí. otra. ¿Cuál ha caído? Pues toda la vida, tengo 62 años. Toda la vida ahí. Todo, todos mis recuerdos, mis padres me dieron la casa, me dieron todo ahí. Y ahora de la noche a la mañana esto digo. Y, y por cinco minutos más no, no estamos vivos porque no fuimos a casa de los vecinos a los que tengo que estar agradecidos, Santo, Amparo, Iker y Evan, ahí en los pisos de frente, si no, si tardamos cinco minutos más, ya no, ya no estaríamos en el mundo. Pero la... Aviso no hubo ninguno, o sea, nosotros también creo que al final se lo sobrepasó a todo, porque esto, esto, es verdad que se debería de avisar, pero en, en esas circunstancias no, no, no creo que nadie pudiera hacer nada tampoco, era una cosa fuera de lo normal, jamás vista que en la edad que tengo yo y en la edad de mis padres, nada, en la riada famosa del 57 que yo no había nacido, mis padres no dijeron que aquí no pasó nada en esta calle, y, pero bueno, es, es, ha sido una hecatombe, una hecatombe, hija mía. ayudando pues en todo lo que se pueda para limpiar el pueblo porque hay mucho hay excavadoras hay tractores por todo voluntarios el ayuntamiento está repartiendo agua en la otra punta del pueblo también han dado comida y ropa todo lo necesario claro o sea que estamos dentro de lo malo no nos falta de nada de momento No tenemos ni agua, ni luz, ni gas, y eso va a tardar. Sí. Es que hay mucho mal, hay mucho mal, hay mucho mal. Por arriba está todo arrancado, un desastre, esto es un desastre. ¿Qué, es, qué se siente al ver tu pueblo así? Es tu pueblo, ¿no? Es mi pueblo, impotencia, total. Impotencia y eso. ¿Qué, te quiere? ¿Qué quieres que te diga? Muy mal todo, muy mal.